hello guys in this lesson uh, we will focus on the what is the importance of the mechatronics the main question is that in our lesson and so in the previous lesson uh, we deeply discuss about the control theory system dynamics transfer function and state space representation but why should we learn about the mechatronics parts especially in the other science or other uh, lessons and so, how can we use the information that we learn in other class? The main uh, sub-question is that. And so, especially in the mechatronic perspective, we have the material science. And so, the dynamic. And so, the electronic or electric circuit. These all are the lessons which is given the mechatronic program fluid mechanics machine elements heat transfer thermodynamic and signal processing signal processing as well as the control theory can be added in here and uh, as well as the system dynamics can be added in here in the first place in order to learn uh, about uh, how can we design a system in mechatronic perspective we should utilize the system dynamic approach uh, with the control theory because if we don't have the system dynamic approach and then we cannot collect the whole the equation which is uh, given in the other lesson and so we should first learn the system dynamic and we should add the property of the control theory in order to track the whole the desired point in any other in any other dynamic system heat fluid or something like that we should control all of these things but how can we obtain the whole of the information or how can we use this lesson in order to create a system dynamic perspective with the relation of the control theory for example we have the system in our example hydraulic one hydraulic system like this one we have the pump variable in here and so we have the road variable and we have the tank value at this time okay and so we have the dimension of distance of the edge from the ground in here and so we can store the liquid variable in our system okay and so in order to create a system modeling techniques uh, we should uh, learn the system dynamic in order to create a dynamic e equation of motion in order to control all of these things and so we need to learn about the control theory okay and how but in this lesson we should create a proper dynamic of these things with some constant okay which means that if we have the variable a line or pipe in here and so we have a resistance value in this time okay and so this resistance value in laminar flow we can calculate it by the rho v l square divided by mu 128 times d4 with the shape parameter techniques in order to calculate the resistance value of these things we should learn about the fluid dynamics <coughs> because this resistance value is mainly derived from by using the fluid dynamics perspective okay and so we have the another parameter in here which is that the capacitance value and so capacitance can be calculated by c must be equal to a times g value in this position and so in order to have this coefficient or some system coefficients calculate these coefficients and then we should learn the how to be create in these coefficients in fluid dynamics method or fluid mechanics okay and so 
in order to create a full or in order to calculate the correct resistance or right resistance value we should take the density factor or viscosity or the viscosity of the liquid value in this time and so this is directly related to the material science okay if you don't know the material science and then we cannot select the proper coefficient of these things and so if we have or if we have the knowledge about the system dynamics and control theory and then we should create a system parameter based on what firstly material science should be known and so the dynamic should be known and so the fluid mechanics should be known in order to create this resistance value based on the Bernoulli equation or something like that okay and so if we know the system dynamics approach and control theory and then we should learn the material science dynamic or fluid mechanics in order to model the correct value of the this kind of hydraulic system okay and so we can create resistance and capacitance value based on the information of what we are coming here the material science and fluid mechanics okay this is so important because in the mechatronics we should utilize the the base structure by system dynamic approach and control theory but we don't know what is the correct coefficient of this system and so these system coefficients can be learned by using the material science information and fluid mechanics information okay in the heat system we should know the heat transfer in order to create a resistance value or if we have the resistance value so apart from that the capacitance value and then we should uh, take part participate into the thermodynamic in order to calculate the capacitance value of the any heat system okay this is so important and in other ways uh, the for example <coughs> if we have the mechanical system like this one if we have a road parameter in here like driving the mass factor in here and so we need to create a dynamic in here m is equal to the if we have the force value in the direction of the x and so if we have a rod with a elastic property and so m x dot dot plus k x should be given in, in here okay but how can we calculate the m m is equal to density times volume value and so density coming from the material science okay if you don't do, if you don't know the material science and then you cannot select the correct material property to create this system in real life and so the v is directly from the shape parameter selection but how can we calculate this k value k is equal to you don't know this but the, the this the general formula of these things elasticity times area divided by l but if you don't know anything about material science you cannot select this elasticity property or the shape parameter of these things okay and so this is so important to learn the or to to know the property of the material science okay and so if we have the another kind of system like the this one we have two rotatable elements in here with uh, this tooth and so the any motor can be driven by these things because the tooth can be used to rotate the any other motor techniques in our system dynamics approach if we have gives the momentum in here or the moment to these things or torque moments is equal to i theta dot plus c theta from the friction factor and so k theta but how can we calculate this i value i coming from the material science and shape parameters but the friction factor and k factor is directly using the knowledge of the machine elements okay 
this the main parameter of the machine element is directly related to the calculation of this spring factor and damping ratio and so if you have the, a lot of knowledge of system dynamics and control perspective and then if we don't have the machine element perspective we cannot model this kind of system in real life because the machine elements gives us the knowledge of how to we create how to we establish this damping ratio and stiffness factor and so after that the process is doing and so we can utilize the system dynamics approach in order to create a correct form of control position in our mechanical systems okay and so in the other example if we have the any electrical and heat system like uh, this one if we have a tube in here like this one and so if we have the any coil in order to heat or in order to increase the temperature of these things with the general rule of current law and so the what or the power is equal to i y and so the volume or the voltage value is the current times r and so the general notation of the q or the heat transfer coefficients is equal to the what the i square r t and so if we don't know the property of this coil which coming from the material science and electric circuit theory and then we cannot create this resistance value related to this coil and so we cannot easily handle the correct total heat factor to this tube and so this tube is created from the material but uh, this tube coming from the heat transfer and so Q is the convection or spin ratio K times A L divided by the T out minus T this is the internal this is the outside temperature value this is the internal T value okay and so T out is that and so this coming from the learning of the heat transfer methods okay heat transfer and so if the system equation is obtained we should implement the computer simulation algorithm which we call the method in the platform of these things okay and so we can transfer the whole information to the MATLAB or any other programming language C, C++ or Python as you wish okay and so but the importance of the mechatronic lessons is directly related to the, the splitting into the two parts controlling system based on the system dynamics and control approach and the calculation of the system parameters m c k or r c this is the damping this is the capacitance okay and so these coefficients can only be calculated by using the heat transfer less or fluid dynamics or dynamic or material science and so if we have a lot of information related to these lessons and then we can calculate these things and these coefficients can be implemented into the one dynamic equation of motion and so this dynamic equation of motion can be translated into the system dynamics form and so we can take the transfer function of form of these things or state space presentation and then we can design a controller system approach to track the desired position of these things and this whole system or this whole loop can be called the mechatronic design engineering approach these are first and the most important difference from the other engineering techniques or other uh, language techniques in our engineering approach okay these are the lesson to, for the introduction to mechatronic approach and so 
uh, this is the main uh, example of this uh, system things uh, you should remember uh, this uh, kind of information in here because the the main structure can be given by using these whole uh, lessons in here okay i hope the, you enjoyed this uh, lesson and so i hope you learn about uh, the importance of the mechatronic and the control theory and the system dynamics and the I hope the, I can explain the uh, whole the relation between the system dynamics control approach and the other lessons in this lesson. Okay.